Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Decided to make this video to answer some of your questions about how I usually get ready before I go for a shoot with hook clothing. I am by no means a beauty guru or a beauty influencer. I feel like I don't know, it's just like I have a very deep interest in makeup and skincare and hair and all that. So I thought I'd share this with you guys since you guys wanted to know. Thank you so much um, for supporting Hook Clothing as well as supporting me, being a part of Hook Clothing. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye! So first up, brows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown along with my Anastasia uh, Brow Brush. This is the brush in 7B. concealer brush up all the way to the brow bone area just to clean up the brow now once you're done with the eye primer you want to sort of set it down with a powder and the powder that I'm going to use today is the one by Glam X I'm going to be using this shade right here I use this elf small tapered brush I'm going to pick it up and dust it all over my eyelids so the first transition shade that I like to use is the one by Makeup Geek. This is the one in Peach Smoothie. I'm doing a fluffy blender brush like this. Sorry, mine's dirty. <laughs> and this is the one in uh, this is the one from Morphe. It's the M441. And with another um, eyeshadow by Makeup Geek, this is the one in Chickadee. Using the same brush, picking that up and dusting that on top of that eyeshadow that we just laid down earlier. Third transition shade that I'm going to go for is this one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the one in the shade um, Burnt Orange. I'm picking that up with a slightly more dense um, blending brush, slightly below where we laid down the first two eyeshadows with these two shades from Colourpop this one is called um, Note to Self and this one in the shade Top Notch blending brush like this this is the one by Morphe so I'm picking these two colours up and then I'm just going to dust that on the outer corners of my eye I'm dusting it on the inner corners as well. You want to go in with your previous blending brush just to soften up any harsh lines. With another um, tapered blending brush, going in with this color right here. It is um, from Anastasia. It is in the shade Sienna. And I'm gonna just gently pat that in on the outer corners just to create some definition in the eye. bottom lash line, I'm going to be mixing these two colours that I used earlier and using a small pencil brush like this, I'm just going to smoke out the lower lash line and a brush like this, um, this is the one by Morphe, it's the M432 um, I'm going to be picking up the colour Sienna and sort of stamping the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Um, eyeshadow palette by Makeup Forever. This is the lustrous shadow palette. Going in with this color right here. And the outer corner is just a tad bit more. In the center of my eyelid, I'm just going to be using the same Glam X Chocolate Real Palette using this shade over here. Picking that up with a flat eyeshadow brush like this. It gives you that sort of um, added dimension to your eye look. Don't sue me. 
I like to use this black eyeshadow as my liner because um, I find that using a eyeshadow as your eyeliner is um, a lot softer. Picking that up with just a regular angle brush like this. use for um, my shoots with hook loading is this one by Ardell. This is actually my favorite pair of lashes. That I'll be using, that I always use I feel like for um, hook loading shoots is the um, Dior Forever Foundation. This one has a little bit of SPF in it, it's SPF 35, but I find that it doesn't have any flashback whatsoever. And I like to mix it in with the MAC Stroke Cream. This is in the shade Peach Light. I'm going in with just one pump of foundation. Gain myself a little concoction over here. In the Morphe Blending Sponge, packing that into my skin. Want to rub it because then the product will be absorbed into the sponge. So you just want to press it into the skin. For my concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Shape Cake <laughs> shade light medium. I am just going to use a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. my face as well and also slightly around my nose and lip area go back in with the um, blending sponge and I'm just patting that in once the concealer is done I'll be going in with my loose powder this is the one my two face is in the shade Translucent, baking the center of my face because I tend to get a little bit oily on the T zone area. So, once I've baked my face, I'm just gonna go in with a regular pressed powder. This is the one by Maybelline. Just picking that up with a Real Techniques powder brush. I'm gonna tap that on the side of my face. I'm going to go in with a bronzer. This is the one by Marc Jacobs. I'll be using a Morphe brush once again. This is the M527. You can never go wrong with this color. You can never look too muddy as well. And then, top of my forehead. The contour shade that I'll be using today is by Tarte. This is the Tarte Pro Glow. This shade over here. My trusty old Zoeva Luxe Face Paint. This is in the number 109. So I'm picking that up, stamp that. Then I'm gonna just blend it out by going in this up and down motion. Now I'm going to be dusting off the excess powder of my T-zone area. The brush that I'll be using today is the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon. This is in the shade Apricot in the middle. So the highlight that I'll be using today is the one by Dark Cosmetics. The Rimmel Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. You guys always ask like what 
uh, lip color that I always apply on my lips and it's the one by Velvet Vanity. This is the shade in blue. And I find that this lip color really complements all of my outfits. To finish off the entire look, I'm going to spray my entire face with this MAC Fix Plus. 